Hey guys, uh, today I have a few updates to my point and click cursor control system for the HoloLens. It's a system that lets you control the cursor with uh, your hand instead of your head. Uh, I think it's a lot more intuitive. It's kind of like using a mouse cursor, but the uh, challenge is um, translating that action into a 3D space. So one of the big improvements I made was choosing not to show the cursor when your hand is in M view. Um, before, I had it defaulting to the center of your gaze, just like in the old HoloLens cursor paradigm, and that confused people into thinking that they should control it with their head even when their hand was in view. Removing that visual indicator totally removed that confusion, and uh, it's a lot easier to use now. So in my previous video, I was using sliders to manually set the shoulder or raycast position, and uh, I think that is a bad experience. So. Um, instead of that, I have a new calibration system where a few targets just pop up in front of you and then you're supposed to point at those targets with your hand how you'd like to point at them and then it calculates the ideal uh, shoulder raycast position um, based upon the position of your hand and the uh, orientation of your head. You can do this with as few as one target and uh, it'll actually put your cursor right on the target after you point at it but it might not be the ideal place to raycast from uh, for your entire scope of your vision. So say if you calibrate to the bottom left, then your hand might not be in a comfortable position for the upper right. By calibrating in, say, the four corners of your vision and averaging that out, then you get an all right, an all right position for all the entire scope of your vision. I think that in a real-world use case, the single point and calibrate solution was, is probably going to be the most effective just for convenience. Uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see, maybe two points at most. Um, it's kind of nice though. If you want to switch from a really high hand position to, say, a position where your elbow gets to rest on your waist, it only takes a few seconds to uh, make that transition with the new calibration system. So I also experimented with a few different cursor visualization styles. Um, I tried adding a motion trail to the cursor, and I think that it makes it easier to keep track of the cursor, and it's, it's pretty satisfying to use. You feel like a wizard, but uh, I think that it takes away from the precision because you don't have just have a single point visually that your cursor exists in, so I scrapped that. Um, a colleague of mine suggested that I use a cone instead of a dot and ray. Uh, and this is good because it uh, po can point to your shoulder raycast position without actually having the obstructive ray across your entire vision. And um, it actually works out pretty well. So I'm pretty happy with that. So that's kind of the system where it's at right now. I'm gonna go further with it, try some new things, of course, implement it in a bigger project, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.